Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here doing one more example of integration by parts where we choose dv just to be dx. In this case, similar to our last one where we did inverse sine in the last video, if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, we maybe don't know the antiderivative of ln x, and that's pretty typical. Some people do, but a lot of people don't. Um, but if we choose it to be u, in our integration by parts process, then we won't actually be taking the antiderivative of it, right? We'll be taking the derivative of it, because when we select u, then we find du, the derivative of that. So if I choose ln x to be u, uh, then we would actually have the derivative is 1 over x dx. The only thing left is really 1 dx, or dx, so we just let dv equal dx. And then the antiderivative of 1 dx, or just dx, is going to be x. This is a nice way to get around doing the antiderivative of something and turn it into the process of just doing the derivative of that something. So now we use uv minus integral v du. uv is going to be x times ln of x minus the integral of v du. Here I have an x and I have a 1 over x, and if I multiply those together I will just get 1, so 1 dx or just dx. And then if we complete this last little bit of integration here, what is the antiderivative of 1 dx? Well it's just x plus c. And you may have memorized this one, wonder where it came from, or maybe you know, you're just exploring how to integrate by parts using dv as dx. There we go, x ln x minus x plus c. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.